girl I'm on these teeth that Boy, Trey, they forever, baby. Man, it's your boy, artist. Hey, girl, Tasia, name. Girl, name is Sam. Spook, what happened back in business? Hey, girl, Tasia, name. Aaron, the Gap 2 Diva. Big stuff with Crazy. How are you, Milan? Here, Milan. It's your girl, Flamey Gina. But it's Auntie Pig. Ebony, aka Ebony, with an eye. I'm from the Big Head Radio Show, and I'm with the King Teeth Network, huh? Somebody in their family, anybody. Say what that. wrong with them? What wrong with What wrong with them? What wrong with What wrong with this mic? It won't let me get it on there. <laughs> yeah, it go like that sometimes. We about to get started. Y'all know what the fuck going on. All right, y'all know what it is. It's the King Teeth Network. We are back, and we have Fabio Ochoa in the mother building today. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. What wrong with him? Mr. What wrong with him? Yeah. Hey, shout out to Foreign Freight. My guy made this happen. Um, I got to be behind the scenes. We're going to jump straight into it. I got to be behind the scenes on one of your newer singles. You got yeah. a lot of singles out, my boy, yeah. though. But one of your newest singles, Slurpee. Yeah, Slurpee. Yeah, it's she doing gonna good. ride. Hey, hold on, don't get me started. But uh, talk about that song. Where'd it come from? Um, well, I had already had created the song, mm. and um, I wanted somebody on it. Mm -hmm. And um, like I say, I heard Freight, and um, I was just thinking of a song for him to be on. And um, my brother, he was like, my brother Guava. Mm -hmm. He was like, yeah, bro, put him on there. Yeah. And you know we could just tell by the by the cause we got we got good ears like mm -hmm. sonically like mm -hmm. we just know like mm -hmm. um, that's one thing about it, when you just good at making music you just know so um, I just knew he'd be dope on it yeah. I, knew he, I knew he'd be hard I knew he'd kill it and um, he delivered that's what he did and um, like I say my nigga Freight man mob ties he already no, know what it is he already, he, he already know what it is but um, yeah we um, yeah we put that together and we slam dunked that that's a fact. Yeah, um, it's a lot of avenues we can go because we you got a lot of things you got going on. But first and foremost, Fabio, man. Yeah. Break down this name, man, because you you <laughs> you broke it down to me and it blew my mind. man. Yeah. What is this Fabio? What is this? OK. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, back when I was in the streets, mm -hmm. you know, I was deep in the streets. It was a drought in my city, mm -hmm. you know. And where are you from? And um, Cleveland. I'm there from, you go. I'm from Harvard Ave. There you go. If don't nobody know, I'm from Harvard Ave. You know what I'm saying? I represent 139th. Yeah. Um, I'm HVD finest. You know what I'm saying? So if you go over there and ask about me, you know what I'm saying? I am the legend of voodoo. Ooh. So that's my street name. You know, people don't know that. My name is voodoo. They call me voodoo Chuck. But well, um, what? Uh, hold on. I'm scared to ask this question. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no, that's some other deep yeah, shit. Yeah, we're going to wait on that one. That's going on something else. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, you know, when I was hustling, mm -hmm. you know, my name came from one of my homies. When it was a drought, he kept calling me Ochoa. Mm. And um, and what is that? And um, Ochoa is um, Escobar's uncle that stayed on the plantation. His name is Fabio, Fabio Ochoa. He was a fat man that was never touched, never been to jail. And uh, I'm him. <laughs> Talk you know, that shit, dude. Yeah, I'm Fabio Ochoa, man. What you tell me? You was yeah. riding on cocaine? Or some shit yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, he was riding on a horse, riding around the cocaine plantation. <laughs> Never got he, A part of the Medellin cartel, yeah. Never got So they put that part of your name, and then you got the Fabio somewhere else. I got the Fabio when my brother looked it up. He looked it up and seen his full name was Fabio Ochoa. Mm. But like, yeah, um, my dudes, they used to always call me Ochoa. So then, you know, I was like, man, that's my name. I'm running with it because... My name was first Chuck Nizzle, a.k.a. the Doughboy. Mm -hmm. You know, this was back in the day when I was um, doing music with um, my cousins and them, 40 Watt Entertainment, mm -hmm. you know, D&G and them. It was me, Holly from 40th. It was Vegas, uh, Mac Dutchman mm -hmm. from the west side of Detroit on the west side. And um, we was doing music. We was going hard with it then, you know, traveling, you know, opening up for Young Jeezy, T.I., Gucci. Wow. 
This was back in the day. Yeah. And um, that did was my have, name then. Did you have one foot in, one foot out at that time? Yeah. It, 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 you know, it's it, it's always been like that because mm. you don't see the money from the music. Okay, right. See, so I didn't start seeing money from the music until last year. Right. When I figured out 2021 how. 2021. Yeah, 2021. Was a motherfucking yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, because I started figuring out how to get it from the streams, how to mm. get it from the YouTube, how to get it from the Instagram, mm. how to get it from the TikTok how to get it from the Facebook. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's four different streams yeah. right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Monetization yeah. is a motherfucker. Yeah, you know, but you got to know. People don't know these People things. People don't know these things. You know, it's a lot of mechanicals to it, but they got to pay me to learn it because I had to pay a lot of money to learn it. Really? Me and my brothers. Yeah, we bumped our heads, bro, because a lot of people be doing music and then they don't even know they need BMI. I'm just going to say that or ASCAP. Mm -hmm. They don't even have that. They don't even have no publishing. Mm -hmm. You know, you get mechanical royalties from your your performance, you know, performance right. royalties, like when you do shows. Yeah. So people don't know about these things that is is certain um, things that you need to sign up for mechanically to get the money. Yeah. Or so they will never know who to send it they to. They don't know. People don't know. We had money. You know, we didn't know. We had money sitting in distro kid. Wow. You know, we had money from streams from distro kid that we didn't even know. You know what I'm That's saying? That's crazy. And we didn't even know how to get it. Yeah. It's just sitting there. But that's when you go to study. Yeah, but you learn. But you know, it, it is what it is. I know now. Right. So you you talk you talk about your brother a lot. Um, when did you and him start with the music? Um, well, it started with me mm -hmm. when I was doing the stuff with my older cousins, mm -hmm. and them, right? You know, with the forty watts. Okay. But my, so but he wasn't my, there but, at my, the time. but my brother Marty. You know, uh, he the best rapper that I know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he harder than me. And uh, my brother, every time when I used to pull in my grandmother's driveway, he had a new rap for me. And it would just, it would blow my mind. Yeah. So me, him, and my brother G, who is Guava, mm -hmm. we created My Arc Music Group. Okay, and that's and the record label. That's the record label. That came that's out in 2014. 2014 is that's still going cool. now. That's what I represent, yeah. my art music group. And um, like I say, my brother, he was just, um, he was prolific. He was before his time. He was, he was my genius. See, because me and my mm. brother, me and my brother right there, we was the money. And I was like more the talents of the brains and more outgoing. But my brother was, he was the brains of the operation. Mm -hmm. You know, where he Let would. Let me take one second. Um, or at the end of the table. Where he would, um, my brother, mm -hmm. he would, um, my brother, he would, um, he knew about LLCs. Mm. So he knew how to help us go legit. Yeah. And um, he knew the business. He knew the ins and outs. That's that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. That's everything. So 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 that's why we was like we was the real true three amigos. Yeah. You so know? you had the talent. You had somebody to go get it, and you had the knowledge. Yeah. And you just ran with it. Ran with it. My brother, he read every book about that music. Sheesh. He knew all about. He knew all about the ASCAP. He knew all about the publishing. Yeah. He knew all about the royalties. He knew all about the copyright. He knew all about the trademark copyright. Jeez. He knew all of that shit. You couldn't, you couldn't, he was so passionate about it. If he would talk to you till you went to sleep about it. Mm. That's how deep he knew that's about. That's what you need though. Yeah, you need that. You need that as you need your that. team, bro. And, and that's, a, that's a pivotal point because that's how people sign 360 deals mm. because they don't know nothing about um, the publishing, they royalties, they just, want the first money that the lump sum that they can get in the beginning yeah. so and a 360 deal is what um it's basically i'm gonna explain it to me to you how i how i see it right right, right. Cause I how see i it. seen it when i first encountered a 360 deal i played a lottery mm -hmm. and everybody in black neighborhoods played a the lottery their grandmother or their grandfather or their auntie their uncle they want to hit the mega millions mm -hmm. they want to hit the powerball so that's what these record companies do. They throw a half a million dollars, a million dollars in your face, and you a kid from the ghetto and you never seen it. Mm -hmm. And you assign a way to do all of these albums. And then what if you only hot for one album? Now you in debt with them. Mm -hmm. Well, let's say your first album don't even do good. Now you in debt with that. Now you don't gave away your performance rights. You don't gave away your YouTube channel to them. 
you don't and let's say the song do good on a on a movie or something you don't see none of that money the record company people do because you signed it away mm -hmm. and that's what happened we sign everything away before we even get something Mm. because we don't want to put the hard work in we just want people to know we just got signed we got a deal we got a million dollars mm -hmm. but see my brother he was deeper than that he knew that no nah, bro we ain't taking that million we ain't taking that money they gonna beat us they gonna get out on us mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because even if you do good they done made so much money off you and yeah. still got you stuck yeah. And what they want you to do, and what what they want. So you it's to do. really a three six. There's no way to win. And then you then you it. in it. Yeah. You stuck in it. And you stuck. Then in you got to figure out who getting your publishing. Now you got to buy back your publishing, your royalties back. Mm hmm And work backwards. Yeah. The whole thing is for you to have success and longevity. So when you at home, you getting your royalty checks. Yeah. When they spending that music on the radio, you getting them royalty checks. When you performing, you getting that performance royalty money. You know, you getting them other mechanics from the, the YouTube and all of that. See, they take the YouTube is because people don't know that once you get a YouTube channel and you get over a thousand subscribers, you can get a Google ad. Mm. So just imagine if you get a Google ad and then they want to pay you a dollar every time it's viewed. Mm -hmm. So that's a million dollars you made off of one video. Mm -hmm. But people don't know that because they don't know nothing about you get Google ads. So they wonder how these vloggers and people that do YouTube channels, how they making so much money. You just got to get the YouTube channel to pop. And once you get it to pop and you get the followers, that's why they unstoppable. That's why you got rappers like NBA Youngboy. He unstoppable. He making so much money is because he got the YouTube fan base. Mm -hmm. You want to get the YouTube fan base. And once you get that, that's a powerful fan base. It's a powerful fan base. That's a different fan base. It's different. It's just, it's, it's just, different. It's the money is different because you could put an that. ad in this yeah. corner, an ad in that yeah. corner. So just imagine if you got an ad over here that's five dollars, yeah. you got an ad over here that's ten dollars, you got add another ad that's ten dollars. What that tell you? Man, every time. Yeah, every view. Jesus. Okay, so 2021. Okay. That was a motherfucking year for you. Well, it really started 2020. So talk to me. What happened? Because 2020 was a was a year for okay. everybody. 2020, I heard a beat on Beat Stars. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And um, it was made by a guy named Phantom. Okay. Okay. And um, I just liked it the beat. You know. And uh, me and my brother, we just got back in town from Florida, but I brought the beat before we got on the airplane while we was in Florida. And um. Uh, we all listened to it. My brother said something to it. And I lightweight piggyback off of something he said. And I went to sleep and I woke up and said, shut up. Me and my brother that's passed away, my brother Marty, Rest in he, come, he come with the other half and we put the whole thing together. And uh, we came up with a song that's called Shut Up. And uh, we recorded the video in October. 18th we didn't put out the video until um december 10th 2020 mm -hmm. where you can look up on youtube mm -hmm. you under know, your brother's page under my brother page and uh which is marty monaco marty monaco yeah they're so gonna we, fact check this because this is facts. yeah 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 these facts, right these, these facts so these you can facts. go on there december december 10th 2020 mm -hmm. i put out a song called shut up which Soldier Boy has the same beat, Make It Clap, but his came out in April. Right. But in between that time. So what you're saying is you did it first. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to go that I'm way. humble with it. <laughs> I did it first. He spit something different, but it was the same beat. Right. But it brought me notoriety. Yeah. It brought my brother's notoriety. Mm -hmm. um, it brought labels and different people who want to speak After to me. After Adam, right? Adam After Adam 22 Jumper. Right. Adam 22 Jumper reviewed it on the live stream. Shout out to Instagram. Jumper, man. Shout out to and, um, Jumper. and um he put it and um it was at already at 50,000 views mm. and when when he posted it went up to a hundred. Ooh, doubled up on him. Yeah, it doubled up on him. And uh hey man, <laughs> it did good. Did you, know you ever saying? feel like I'm gonna go I'm gonna go sue him? No. Because, I, you know, I look at things different. You know, in this game, you know, when you, when you try to go at people in the wrong way, 
you know, you end up getting blackballed. Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't want to do that anyway. Right. Plus, I'm a hustler anyway. Yeah. You know, I believe if you made it then, you can make it again. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So me, that means you had an ear. Cause yeah. it was a hit. It was a hit. Regardless. Yeah, it was a hit regardless. So. It was Barry Barnes. I'm Barry Barnes with it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Barry Barnes with <laughs> it. But, um. So but, then after that, like, then the, the but after that, but it's crazy because that was happening, but you was also doing the comedy that was starting to take off as well. Yeah. So you I started doing I, the TikTok stuff. I started doing the TikToks and I'm, um. Um, talking under the animals, doing voiceovers, mm -hmm. and um, they took off. It took off. Million and plus. Million plus. Sheesh. Million plus views, hundred thousand likes. Yeah, multiple times. Though. Multiple times. How um, did that feel? Man, it was, it felt surreal because uh -huh. I was like, dang, I just put this up and then I, 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 I you know, like what? And I use it. This was so crazy. I used to get up at six in the morning. And I used to post on. TikTok at six in the morning, and by nine or ten o'clock, it went viral. Wow! It was going viral, but that was like in 2021. But see, they changed the algorithm. Oh, they gonna keep changing it. Yeah, so you gotta, so you got, yeah, so you gotta figure out the hashtags. If you don't post the right hashtags, and the hashtag been banded or spammed, mm. or the hashtag ain't no good no more. What? There so, could be a hashtag that's no good no more? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, and so, 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 out here yeah, 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 there's some other game, you know, <laughs> the game, game is to be sold, not to be told. <laughs> that's a fact. But today I ain't selling it, I'm just telling it. Hey, that's you know a real game saying? from a real OG, man, I appreciate shit. Yeah, like yeah, 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 but you got to be careful with the hashtags, because the hashtags can make you not get no views. Wow. And then another thing, you can't beat people with paid sponsorship right. on Instagram. Right. So you got to post at a certain time in the algorithm, mm -hmm. you know. To even just fit in it. To just even even get some views yeah. now. Because they change the algorithm all the time. Mm -hmm. And so it's certain times of the day that you need to post. And it's certain times of the day that you shouldn't post. And sometimes you got to go inside your analytics and look in there. That's some other game. So when did I you learned. start? Because that is game. And that's some that stuff people, especially influencers and, and artists, don't do. When did you start really look, paying attention to this stuff? Because you don't even really post your performances um, on your page. You uh, make sure it stays where it needs to be, and then you post the music on top of it. Yeah. Um, I just know people want to be entertained. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people do the same thing. You know, when I first came on the Instagram, if you go down my page, I show myself I'm in a Tesla. I'm mm -hmm. showing a knot of money. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what everybody else do, showing the money. Mm -hmm. But that ain't really entertaining people. Mm -hmm. That's really taunting people or mm -hmm. taunting somebody that's a robber. That's just like when I was in the street, I wouldn't taunt a robber. Right. I wouldn't just keep posting money at them. But well, that's basically just saying, come get it. Come get it. Yeah. But it do motivate people in certain aspects. Absolutely. But I wanted to be a vessel. Mm -hmm. And then I knew that I could make people laugh. Mm -hmm. So I, cho I chose the funny route. Mm -hmm. I chose to go with the comedy, the skits. I knew that I was a visionary by doing it. I seen it. And a lot of people don't see it. Yeah. You know, some people might say, man, that's corny. Why you doing it? But they only saying that because they baby mama liking my page. <laughs> they Real baby shit. mama clicking the likes. Real shit. And know? laughing. And laughing. And keep watching it. Yeah. Real shit. You heard the saying, what they say, hypnotized by hatred. Now you said, that's a great ass. That's a great, that's, that is, that's a good one. Now you said you would, back in the day, I ain't going to say nothing. Allegedly, back in the day. You was a pimp? Yeah, I was a pimp. Now, what was the pimp life life like? Um, Is it hard out here for a pimp? Man, I don't, I don't did everything. Like, I had a girl, my girl Wendy. Mm -hmm. uh, um, she was the first girl that I really was pimping out, that I mm -hmm. really considered that, even though I pimp other girls before her. Mm -hmm. But me and her was, we was fucking. We mm. had sex. We was together. And I don't literally, you know, hear in a hotel closet while another dude fucking her to get this money. Wow. You know, um, just just a lot, you know, it's different yeah. levels. It's, it's hella different it's levels. Different, it's different levels. And that's why I say a lot of people think with the little head instead of the big head. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, um, before I bend her, I'm a sender. And that's just how I always been. You know, I, yeah. you know, I, you know, you can keep the pussy, you know what I'm saying? You know, the pussy dead. 
All I want is the bread. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got all the slogans. Yeah, I got all the slogans. You got all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a master and communicator, man. Come on, like man. Like MAC, man. I'm a real one, by the way, man. A real no, MAC. Real shit. Yeah, yeah, real yeah. Shit. You um, you been, you been on a run since twenty, basically since the end of 2020. Yeah. And and you've not only capitalized on it, you've took the time to learn about it, learn how to move, learn how to. But make that's what your I money. did. That's what I had to do. I'm a person that I study anything that I do, mm. right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to go into nothing and not knowing it. Even when I was in the streets, I study other people's mistakes. Mm -hmm. I study why they went to jail, why that person told on them. You got to know personalities. Yeah. In the streets, you got to know personality. You got to know that, oh, no, man, he'll set me up. He'll rob me. He'll tell on me. He'll snitch on me. Mm -hmm. And um, you get a lot of game like that because if somebody, let's, let's say I front you some work. And now you mess up on the work, but then you don't really want to pay me. So nine times out of ten, when some when somebody don't want to pay you, they will tell on you too. Wow. That's you my don't theory. Even think about it. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, they will like tell they, on you. They're not gonna just run because they, they feel like you owe them. them. Yeah. They feel like you owe them, but don't nobody owe nobody nothing. Right. See, that's what happened with people when when somebody see your success, when you blowing up as a blogger, they're gonna say they're gonna have their hand out. Oh yeah and all of that. So I had to learn that. When I started learning businesses and, and etiquettes mm -hmm. and building something, I used to always be mad because I felt like I had other people in the world that supported me, but my family didn't support me. Mm -hmm. So when I heard this white man on the beach tell me, he say, you don't need them to support you because all they gonna want is a handout when you get on. They gonna want free co concert tickets. They gonna want free merchandise. Yeah. They gonna want money. They gonna want you to buy them a car. Yeah. All of that. But guess what? They want everything free. They're they not going to support you. Right. They're not going to be your real friend. So you got to go out in this world to find the real supporters, mm -hmm. the real fans, the people that want to support you and be with you. Yeah. So you got to network with the people who do the same thing you do. Just like me and you, we go hand in hand. Yeah. I do music. I do this and that. So that's how we network. Yeah. But what people don't do, they don't do that. They want right. their family like, dang, he ain't like my post. Right. Maybe because he got some popularity or maybe you think he can share it to somebody that mm -hmm. you want somebody else to see it. But you got to get that out your mind. Yeah, don't even worry about the people you know. Don't even worry about that. Yeah. You got to keep moving forward. Yeah. You heard, you heard the saying? You see that over there? What's that next to you? A, a tree? Yeah. Did you hear it grow? No. And you won't, because it's silent. That's a fact. I like what you said about networking and relationships and how it goes hand in hand. Yeah. Just like how we work, you usually use the same videographer, Flower Mouth Films. Shout yeah. out to them. Yeah. Shout out to my him boy and Josh. Guys. Shout out to my boy Josh. Shout out to Josh. He the best. He the best videographer in the state. Hold on now, Sweezy. Hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, show me some video. But I love, show me some editing. But I love, I love the confidence you have behind that. And yeah. you have to find that. So how did y'all kind of connect? My brother. Really? My brother is the glue to everything. Wow. My brother found him. Wow. Just like my brother and them found the studio that we go to. Shout out to my dude Ben at Spider Studio. Yeah, shout out to Spider Studios. I've heard of it like yeah. seven times. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to meet Ben though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to meet him, man. Got to meet him. And he the one who he don't record at MGK wow. in his basement and everything. Like, you Shout know, out to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Legendary shit. Yeah, legendary shit. So you 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 learn different shit when you be around different people. So you, you know a lot of people been to that studio, but yeah. I ain't gonna say no names because they wouldn't shout me out. <laughs> but you have <laughs> been fearless in your in your in your growth. Uh just being willing to I mean, even me and me just connecting for real, for real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And like really taking the time to do those things. Does that come from the street life of just really having to listen, trust people? Listen, when you're in the streets, right? And you got drugs, right? Everybody don't have money. You front it to them. Right. And you want them, you want them to come back. That's how you find out the good hustlers in it. Mm. So what I'm doing right now is position myself to be a plug to change the city. Mm -hmm. Like me and Freight, we don't have these conversations where I just feel like people get on 
and they don't do the work that I would do, you know? Mm. So I can't, I can't hold them accountable because they ain't me. Right. But I just feel like people, you could put more light on the city. Everything ain't got to be about money. Right. Because somebody got to front somebody something and put right. somebody else in position. You can't be the only big dog. Right. You got to make other big dogs under you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real, because then yeah. when you start falling, yeah. you, you got other big dogs that's going to keep you up. Yeah. But if you the only motherfucker up there, yeah. you start falling, it's a long way down. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, 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 so what I'm aiming to be is the plug. I love it. Once I get in the position, people like you, anybody, they can come to me and say, because we from the same city. Mm-hmm. It ain't about no money. It's about that I'm keeping everybody on mm-hmm. so we all can get the keep revenue elevated. and yeah. keep the revenue, yeah. feed your family, and you become your own boss, Real you sure. know? But um, when we off camera, I'm going to tell you the name, okay. what, I, what, I, what I'm calling this, but I ain't going to say it right now because I don't want nobody to steal my name. Say less. That's smart. Yeah. Trademarks are yeah. important. Yeah. People. Okay, so... Moving forward, you've been you you perform a lot though. You you do you go from state to state, city to city. Um, yeah, titty to titty. Titty to titty. Yeah, from the pineapple to the big apple, from the snowflake See, to the you, earthquake. I told you you got them. I told you you got them. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite city you've been in outside of Cleveland to perform in? Man, there's so many, man. I know it. It's love everywhere, so yeah. you can't really just put on one city. Right. You know, I don't got love in Florida. I don't got love in Atlanta. Okay. I don't got love in Texas. I don't got love in everywhere. I love it. You know? So, what are some of the songs people can come ch- go check out? What are some of the songs that's out right um, now? My single that's out is Going Up. It's already, already at 100, over 100K. It's already at 100K streams. Come on, now. It's doing good. What you else? Know? We got Slurpee, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, she thirst, thirst, thirsty. <laughs> she suck dig like a Slurpee. Come on now. She want to prove that she worthy. Yeah. Get on her knees, got them dirty. Hey, what's your TikToks? Because they need to follow them TikToks. Oh, man. Fabio Choa, 198. Fabio Choa, 1981. Fabio Choa, 034. You got a couple of them. Up I got there. a couple of them. And they all go. I ain't go over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all go. And then what you was know, the IG again? Fabio Choa, 1981. Okay. F-A-B-I-O-O-C-H-O-A, 1981. Yes, sir. Mr. What wrong with him? <laughs> Mr. What wrong with him? So... We, you got them shirts, right? We gonna get a shirt soon. We got. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With them shirts. No, no, they come, they coming. They the coming? shirts, the shirts, the hats. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got it all gotta coming. Have I, it. I got it all coming in the fold, baby. Let's go, man. Oh, no, Shout we, out to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't you, playing with that. You mentally, you you got it. You you take the time to actually understand what I'm in, and uh, it take like people. It take people. I'm noticing 10 years to be in the same game to actually sit down and say, okay, what am I actually in that's going to get me the money? You know what I'm saying? That's going to get me to the next level. That's going to raise the stakes and going to put people on. Like, what, if anything, or if anybody kind of influenced you growing up outside of your family? Because I know your brother was a, was a was a big influence. Yeah. Um, like I say, man, it's... Um I got a, I got a couple of older cats. They older they older people, mm-hmm. and um, that's where I get the humbleness from. That's where you know um, we don't change because we already seen the money. We already had the money. Mm, what you mean? And, and uh, just far as like getting money, you know, In I mentality had mentality, or you already had it. We already had the money. You know, when when I was 15, 16 years old, I probably had more money than a lot of people. When I was 18, I had a quarter million dollars. God. You know, How does that but like mean? I say, money go up, it go down because yeah. you you could be out, you could be balling, you could be going from here to there and you're spending money. You take losses, L's, people go to jail, places get raided, things happen. Yeah. But when you don't have the money and you know how to consistently go out here and go get it without bagging, you ain't asking, you you a real true hustler. Mm-hmm. I'm a dude that where I can come up, you can give me $20. And I'm going to go out there, and I guarantee you by the end of the week, I'm going to have me a couple hundred to a thousands of dollars. You know? Really? Yeah. But that's if you a hustler. It got to be in you. It can't be on you. The right. same thing with the pimp game. It got to be in you. It can't just be on you. Yeah. Everybody want instant money. So that's why you see the dudes when they robbers, they stick up kids. They want it instant. They ain't willing to put in the work to get it. See, I'm willing to put in the work. Yeah. I'm willing to... I'm willing to 
go through the mud. You know what I'm saying? I'm the only dude that you're going to ever see that's going to walk through muddy waters and find dry land. There go that, hey, smooth motherfucker. This is a smooth <laughs> criminal right here. <laughs> Before we get out of here, man, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for um, just not just coming on the show because you know what I'm saying you see it, but coming on the show because you connected with me and you've been connecting ever since. You've been showing love, you've been reaching out, and then you reached out and was like, I'm in the city, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I oh, yeah. love shit like that because that means the impact was real when we met. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just, oh, he was there, oh, he was, you know what I'm saying? It's actually like, no, nah. I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what so anybody going to be right. when they're down. Right. You heard the saying? You seen it with Scarface? Yeah. You know the saying, what they say with that, right? No, talk to me. They, they don't say, know. The they say, they say, they say, be careful, because that dishwasher might be your behind.